So, okay, Jason, how long have you been doing tires? Uh, not long. Not gluing, we're just trying to get a good seal on the bead. So just putting a really thin, like super thin coat of uh, uh, Sif. Seekerflex 11 FC, which is like a roof a roofing sealant. And it's uh, just a real thick, okay. yep. real thick it. black rubbery oh, glue no that we're putting like on there. The gray one. Wow. They just put like a super, a super thin oh, coat. The sealant, uh, yeah. sealant, sealant oh, works well, but it's yeah, like medium. we find that all the air, you know, when you first bead up a tire, all the air kind of leaks out around the bead, and it's like, uh, uh, well, not that's the place where you get the get the air coming out. It's not a bad thing, but you know, when you put a car tire on, you put a car tire on an alloy wheel, when you take it to the garage, they'll put like a, a tire sealant that sticks between the rubber and the aluminium so we're just kind of using that theory a little bit to try and get, get them to stick on um, yeah so we'll see we'll like pump it up now and we'll have a look see how it goes zero effort to pump them up oh these uh, uh, rims and tyre combo don't you can do it with a pump anyway you never need a compressor for it uh, with the downhill tyres, the casings are nice and firm and the, the rims fit really well to them. You can get, get them on with your hands most of the time, you know, you don't need to, don't need to use tyre levers so much. Over analysing it. Because just, uh, normally you run a sealant, don't you? Average person has sealant in to fix little holes like thorns and yeah, normally, normally racing, they're not, it's going to be... I think normally, normally with sealant what happens is if you do get a hole, yeah, it seals it up. but. Uh, it takes a few PSI to seal it up, and someone like Greg, if he loses one PSI, he knows and he can't ride as well as he can, so, well, probably five, five PSI, and you know, sometimes it takes five, up to ten PSI to seal a hole, and you have to pull over and stop and pump the tyre back up again, um, but, you know, it's, yeah, we're just trying to, uh, well, it's just, it's just to seal the rim, the tyre against the rim really well. And then after that, we, we, we do run sealant in it. We'll have sealant in it. Um, at uh, Sea Otter, we didn't have any sealant in the tyres, um, just to try and make them a bit lighter. But somewhere here, I think it's too too important, especially because he has to qualify this week, that we, we'll, we'll be running a nice amount of sealant in here. Um, just because, you know, he can still ride if he loses 5, 10 PSI. He, he will still be able to get to the bottom. Um, probably not as fast as he, he would, obviously, but at least the tyre will seal up and he will get to the bottom. Any inserts this week? Extra inserts for Fort Bill Quali? Uh, probably not. We like, he just likes to try and keep them as light as possible. That's why we measure the amount of sealant going in so we know. Richard! Uh, yeah, as I was saying before, I think the um, tracks, just it's just uh, pretty much concreted all the way down. So you want something that's going to uh, uh, roll well on that. Um, yeah, it does. It does go quite a lot like riding in wet cement. So I think that's uh, ideal situation for DHR2. Um, they shed the mud really easily. They uh, uh, roll roll really well. And a 2.4 as well. We're running the 2.4s. Um, I think in the in the wet, having a narrower tire kind of cuts through the. The, the surface water a bit better. Mm. That's my pack.